good morning YouTube it's Kim and it is way in Wednesday so I weighed in early this morning I'm not able to go to my usual meeting today and I have good news to report I was down 1.2 pounds yay so that brings my total to 76.6 pounds lost I am so happy about that I have 0.8 left to go to get back down to my lowest to get rid of that gain that I had a few weeks ago. Man, that's just lingering. Um, but that's in the past, so I'm going to try to keep moving forward. And I'm so happy with the 1.2, especially because I had such a busy weekend. I had a fun weekend. I went to two parties on Saturday. We had a communion to go to. We had a first birthday party to go to. And I did great. I did really well with food. Um, the communion was just standard um, party food, nothing exciting. I had some salad. I had some chicken frances, a couple bites of pasta. Um, and I'm curious, in other parts of the country, what is your standard party food? In New York, it's usually penne alla vodka, chicken frances, eggplant rollatini. Um, most people do like the standard Italian thing, so I'm wondering in other parts, what is your standard party food that you uh, most likely try to avoid? Um, and then at the next party, um, our wonderful friends had their son's first birthday party and they did a Mexican theme. And it was so fun and so different and it was perfect for Weight Watchers. They had a great spread of lettuce and chicken and meat and black beans and I made a big taco salad. Um, so I had lettuce, I put chicken on top, some cheese, some guacamole, some sour cream, and I just had one hard shell that I kind of crunched on top um, for crunchiness, and I did great with that. I did um, use all my weeklies on some sangria, some strawberry margarita that was off the hook, and I had the most delicious beautiful piece of tres leches cake and if you're not familiar with what it what that is it's like a mexican specialty cake it's like a, a sponge cake and then they put like condensed milk and three milk cake basically is what it is and it has whipped cream and this one was like off the hook it had custard in the middle totally worth just throwing out all my weeklies over so that was fun got to see some of my favorite people and yeah, so parties were fun. I was able to not really go that overboard. I was happy with how that turned out. And Sunday was great, Monday, Tuesday. So I was able to keep it rolling, keep tracking, and have a loss this week. So this coming week, we have a lot of fun things going on. Um, but I will go over that next week. I'm going to have a lot of food challenges again. And I just need to remember that I don't want to have another gain situation that takes me weeks to get it off. So I just want to make good choices and just want to stay the same this week. That is my goal, to just stay the same. Um, at the meeting today, it was really cute. I went to a meeting in a different location, um, a different time, so I didn't know anybody there. And it was basically all senior citizens. Um, they were adorable. It was packed. There was like 45, 50 of them and probably half of them were at lifetime. So they were all sitting in a free seat and that was a lot of the discussion is one woman said she was depressed because she got to goal and she realized she only was getting six extra points and she thought it was going to be, you know, some party. And, and the reality of it is, is no, you really just have to live this lifestyle and eat healthy and treat your body well for the rest of your life. And it was nice to kind of just reaffirm my thought that I need to go to a meeting every single week 
for the rest of my life. And then in the meeting, she said, who has gotten to goal and said, oh, okay, I'm good now. I don't need to come and gained all their weight back. And like 10 people raised their hand and they said, yep, this time we're not going to do that. So that's the plan for me. Slow and steady. Get to goal. Keep going to meetings. Stay in my free seat. And I don't want to be 60, 70, 80 still dealing with weight problems. I mean, I know I'll still be a food addict at that age, but I want to be at my goal weight. I want to be healthy. And on the board, she was writing the advantages of being at your goal weight. And so many of the older ladies, and there was men there too, just said it improved their health. They're, you know, they didn't have weight on their hips and their knees and they walk so much better and their cholesterol was less and their doctors were so happy. And because when you're my age, you know, in your 30s, 40s, 20s, it, it's, of course, it's about health, right? But most of the time, it's you, you want to look good, you want to be in a smaller size. But when you get up in, you know, those older years, it's about being healthy, living life and living longer. And when you get that weight off, you're going to live a longer life. So that's what we're all here for, right? So it was a great meeting. I enjoyed hearing their stories and, you know, hearing the perspectives from a older generation. So it, it, definitely, it definitely was good. The meeting today was about mindful eating. So... <laughs> little turtle on there. I joke and say uh, Lori and I are team turtle because, you know, we're, we're definitely not uh, blazing any trails with uh, how quickly we're losing weight, but it's going to be a lifetime weight loss. It's not going to be, you know, I lose 100 pounds in a year and then I gain it back the couple, the following years. That's not happening. So I want to share some five tips that they shared to eat slower. And when you eat slower, you don't eat as much and your brain gets the signal that you are full and um, you're not going in for that second helping. So five ways to slow down. Put down your fork or spoon between bites. I don't do that. I have to be honest. I Definitely something I can try. Finish what's in your mouth before taking another forkful. Another thing I'm guilty of, um, a lot of times during the week I'm at work I'm eating in front of my computer and I am eating quickly and not really focusing on my food. So that's something I need to work on. Add a few more chews before swallowing. Sip water or another zero smart points value beverage between bites. And pace yourself to the slowest eater. So those are some tips. And she was talking about dining with dignity sit down, have nice plates and forks and utensils. I'm so guilty of using paper plates, plastic utensils, just, you know, don't want to do dishes. And I know I'm so not green and environment environmentally friendly with that. But um, it's true. When you sit down to a nice meal, like Kim G Gets Fit always has her beautiful white plate and you know, the food just looks so much prettier. Um, so I hope she is taking her time and eating on her beautiful plate. And um, yeah, so I got a fun week ahead, but I'll share more of that next week. And I hope everybody's doing well. And as always, stay fit and fabulous. Bye.